I'm going to adjustable speed drives. Um, clearly, motors, we're, we're, they're looking, people are looking for more control on motors. Is that right? Trying to get things done for a lot. And so it's either on or it's off. And they realize, well, we want something more than just on or off. So then you can get an adjustable speed drive, variables, to get it to, like my air conditioner in my house, it actually is an adjustable speed drive air conditioner. Yep. So it can start slowly because I needed, you know, just the temperature. And then when it gets really high or difference or difference of range, it goes faster. So people are asking me quite frequently, I'm hearing, Mike, how do I size the motor, the wires to the motor for a, a speed drive? I'm like, oh, that's easy. Just look at the nameplate. It'll tell you what that nameplate is. So this is, by the way, if you have a motor connected to an adjustable speed drive, you're not, it's not a motor. You're sizing a conductor to the adjustable speed drive. And the adjustable speed drive will tell you the size wire that goes to the motor. But there is a calculation, if you want to, that you can also use. So let's get into the, to the work here in, in uh, 7.13 adjustable speed drives. Anybody want to say anything about adjustable speed drives in general? Comments? In general? Yeah. Uh, it's probably one of my most favorite pieces of equipment in the electrical industry. I knew that. I mean, this is right up there with 3 aught wire. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you could just give me a job where I can install 3 aught and VSDs and VFDs, I'd be so happy. Um, they really changed a lot for the electrician over the last 25 years because as technology has improved, the drives have gotten smarter. And problems that we couldn't solve 25 years ago, I only have single phase power and I got a three phase motor. I can buy a variable speed drive. I can install it, bring in single phase through the process of how they work. It turns it into three phase, puts it out. And I don't have to add overloads and all this other crazy stuff because I can program in, okay, I want it to start slow. And if it, if it gets this kind of a fault, turn it off. And I can have sensors that come in and, and give commands to the motor. Just, they're fantastic. Just really have, have revolutionized the commercial and industrial side of all of our lives. Air conditioning, everything. Well, let's see. How do you size the wires to these sophisticated, amazing technology devices? Well... Right on the bottom, it tells you, conductor supplying an adjustable speed drive system must have an impasse in not less than 125% of the rated input current of the drive. Realize, you're sizing wires to a drive. You're not sizing wires to a conductor. This is not a motor. This is a drive. And it probably doesn't even belong in 430. Well, it does to some level because yep. they do say, well, the wire's leaving the drive... Now you're not. Now you're running wires to a motor, right? Wires to the drive or wires to a drive. Wires leaving the drive to the motor. Well, now those are branch circuit conductors to a motor. So we need to size those at what? 125% of the motor FLC. But the conductors to the drive. And here we go. Here's a drive right here. And maybe Brian, one day we can get a better looking drive. I'm not sure. If that's what they look like today. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we can. Yeah. Okay. Someday. And Ryan. <laughs> And Maybe can help the drive that. says, imp, the nameplate instructions say 25 amperes times 125%, 31, 60 degrees C. Oh, I'm sure they're rated 75, but assuming we didn't know that we'd go to no. 60, if they are marked 75, then 31, 10 gauge wire, table 3, 10, 16, 35 amperes, and that would be it. Fine. And just so, something to note, and on the next slide, I, I actually put a... Uh, I put a couple of labels from uh, Drive, just something I found on the internet. Um, when you're dealing with drives, people get freaked out because there's, the instruction books can be an inch thick of paper. Is that right? And they're like, oh, where's it at in the code? How do I deal with the code, the code, the code? I'm like, look, let me just make this pretty simple for you. Because they're used for so many different things, uh, mm -hmm. one drive could run a group of motors. It could run one motor. It could run five different sizes of motors off the same drive. The reality of the matter is you do need to know these few rules. There's a couple of rules here, but you really just need to read the instructions that come with the drive. You install the drive using the instructions that come with the drive. That's pretty much the only way you can get it right. You're not going to read the code and know how to install the drive. You're just not going to be able to. Well, the code's going to give you an input. It, it is. And you take 125% of yep. that. It, and, but when you read the instructions for the drive, it's going to tell you if you hook up a 10 horsepower 
three-phase motor and you have a single-phase input, your input conductors need to be this size. I got you. I got you. And you're, you know, I got they're you. very, very, very detailed in the instructions. Okay, so what you're saying, in the, in the, we got to follow the instructions, 1103B. <coughs> if the instructions give us all the information we need, Which then we're do. done. Yeah, if the it did not tell you how to size the conductor to it, well, then the code would give us by default, you'd have to size it, what, 125% of the input exactly. of that drive. Exactly. Now, Brian, we have a little label here. And what do we got It's here? actually just showing you a, a couple of uh, different things. You, you're, basically, that is the input label for the drive. That's so here's the, the amps right the here. Drive. Yep. Imp oh, here's the input amps, 42.6. Yep. Here's an input amps of 3.1, which is a pretty small one here. So 42.6 input. Yep. And that would you, be 42.6 times 125%, Mario? 53.25. 53.53.2. Okay, well, 53, 60-degree C column. Six Unless six it's marked gauge. otherwise, but this would be marked, but 50 degrees C would 53 would be 6 gauge. If this was THW, I mean, if it was 75 degrees C, 53, six gauge. it's still yeah. 6 gauge on whether it's 75 or 60. Okay. And that's how we size the conductor to the drive. Unless the instructions specified something otherwise. Output conductors. Conductors between the adjustable speed drive and the motor must have an impassing not less than 125% of the motor full low current rating, because now we're back in the motors. Because you might have a motor that's a lot smaller than the drive capacity. A lot. So therefore, lot. you gotta bring the wires to the drive capacity for its capacity, because we don't know what's gonna change in there. But now your motor might be a much smaller motor than would have been the wires coming to the drive, because one's to a drive, one's to a motor. Mm. Mario, you follow that? Follow that, yes. Okay. And output conductors an exception. Well, okay, uh, the 125% only applies if the manufacturers don't have instructions. They have instructions telling exactly. you what size wire. Exactly. Then the exception tells us, well, then we don't. We just follow the instructions. We don't do the calculation, and it probably tells you on in the instructions. Like I said, read all this stuff. It's good to know. You may have to answer a question on a test, but if you're installing a VFD, use the instructions because it literally will tell you every single thing you need to know for your installation. And an exam, the only thing they're going to ask you exam would be possibly the maximum is a question somewhere in part 10 of article 430. Yeah. Yep. But I, we wanted to cover so you understand how would how to handle that. And there's a, an additional rule on 430.122D talking about when you have motors or adjust speed drives or a combination of when you're adding them all together, how do you size a feeder conductor to that? Well, the way you size a feeder conductor, um, it says conductor supplying several motors or a motor and adjust speed drive equipment must have an opacity in accordance with 430.24. 430.24 says you take the largest motor at 125% plus the sum of all the other loads. Let's go into code book. This is not right. Let's go to 430.122D because it should not be. Something is not right here, because if the adjustable speed drive is sized at 125%, let's read 430. Right up here. 122. <clears throat> Conductor supplying several motors or a motor and other loads, including power conversion equipment, shall have an ampacity in accordance with 430.24 using the rated input current of the power conversion equipment for the purposes of calculating ampacity. Okay, one, it's called conversion, power conversion, power conversion equipment. equipment. And really, they're talking about adjustable speed drive. Yeah, yeah. Okay. because what VFD. they do is they take AC and it turns it, converts it into DC. And then once it converts it to DC, it then modulates it to control the speed of the motor back into AC. So that's why they're calling it power conversion equipment. Okay, so now click on, Brian, click on that 43024 because we're supposed to go there. It says conductor supplying several motors or motors and other loads shall have an opacity not less than the sum of the following. Okay, 125% of the full load current of the highest rated motor. Okay. The sum of the full low current of the other motors, 100% of the non-continuous load, and 125% of the continuous load. My only, here's what I think it is. You guys tell me if I'm right or wrong. Um, let's say the highest rated motor is 50 amps, okay? Let's say my adjustable speed drive, sorry. Let's say 
My motor is 50 amps. Let's say my adjustable speed drive I'm going to try a number, and I'm trying to get an answer, but I might not get it. Let's say, say the adjustable speed drive is 45 amps. Okay. How do I size the wire to the adjustable speed drive? 45 times 1.25. 45 times 1.25, okay. And how do I size the conductor to the motor? 50 times 1.25. Yeah, right. Now, if you're going to combine them together, right, then 22, or 24 says... You take the motor at 125 percent, but apparently the adjustable speed drive is going to be at 100 yep. percent. Because when you go to 24, it doesn't it, it 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 doesn't tell us. Oh no, let's go with the adjustable speed drive. No, the the adjustable speed drive is 50, and the motor is 45. Then the well, adjustable speed drive will be at 125. No, it won't, because it's not a motor. Oh. So I would have to take the motor at 125% and the adjustable speed drive at 100%, even though the adjustable speed drive might be the bigger of the two loads. Interesting. So let's make a public input, Brian. To clarify that, this. That, see, this rule 43024 was written way before there were adjustable speed drives. It was based on the largest motor at 125% plus all the other loads. Mm -hmm. Adjustable speed drives are not a motor. There's a piece of equipment. Right. This says if you have multiple, watch this. What happens if you have more than one adjustable speed drive on 430.122D? That's a great question. Well, <laughs> it says go to, go to 240.24. But 240.24 is if you have a motor with other loads. Well, we don't have any motor loads because they're all adjustable speed drives. So, so how will we size that then? I don't like, know. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, what I'm saying is right. this. 430.24 was never designed to consider adjustable speed drives. The guys get to adjustable speed. Listen, how do you think probably the adjustable speed drives and everybody else thinks you're supposed to size it if you had two adjustable speed drives? You take the largest adjustable speed drive at 125% and you add the others, right? That's what I thought. I mean, that's how we would all do it. Yeah. And if you added the adjustable speed drive <coughs> over to the motors, you would consider in your mind that the adjustable speed drive is a motor, and if it was the larger of the motors, which it's not because it's not a motor, yeah. but if you thought it was a motor, then you take the largest motor at 125% plus the others. What I'm saying is that there's nothing in 430, 24 Talking about adjustable speed drives. Talking about Giving how to us manage adjustable. That's all I'm just saying. Yep. Eric, oh, okay. I don't want to spend a lot of time, guys. Guys, actually, I'm, I don't gonna, I'm not even going to entertain this. 430.24 is in part two. Yeah. And part two is titled motor circuit conductors. Right. The problem is that <clears throat> part 10 said use 24. 24 doesn't consider adjustable speed drives. Right. But everybody knows probably what they meant to do but somebody who's reading the code the way it is. So we're going to make a public input. I'm sorry I even brought it up that we're talking about that, that probably what they should do is not refer to 24D, but just simply take the text that they want it to say and put it in 430.122D the way it should be. Vince, you okay with that? I'm fine with that. This may help, may not. Okay, go I ahead. can muddy it up some more. Probably not. I think what this is saying is just use the math, the, the formula, the the number is in 430.24. Don't, don't necessarily worry about the title because it's titled Motors. They're doing a pointer back to 430.24 to say, use that calculation and apply it to the adjustable speed or power conversion equipment. Like I said, I think they, they want it that way, but my problem is when I go there, I don't know if an adjustable speed drive is considered another load. I don't know if it's considered a non-continuous load. I don't know if it's considered a continuous load. I don't know if it's considered a motor. Because it's not any of those. I mean, it's not a motor for sure. So I just, but I think it meant, the word motor probably is what they meant to be adjustable. So we're going to go with 125% of the largest motor or adjustable speed drive, right. plus some of all the other loads, plus 100% of the non-continuous load, plus 125% of the continuous load. Then we're fine. That's all. And I, I think actually just rereading uh, 122, maybe we're not thinking as large scale as what, this may apply to there's very large adjustable speed drives because it's saying here circuit conductors supplying power conversion equipment included as part of an adjustable speed drive system so you can buy adjustable speed drive systems whole cabinets 
um, she'll have an impasse in that less than 125 percent. So maybe, we, definitely the PI, maybe they can clarify the language a little bit better, yeah, yeah. how that should apply. Especially, see, at one time you have code rules, you have new equipment coming in, nobody reads the code, everybody knows what it's supposed to mean, everybody does it the way they think it is, and then one person says, but, this, but there's, there's... The good holes. news is the wire's probably big enough. <laughs>